you are listening to Sinu Podcast. This program is a collaboration between the Kapurai Communication and Alumni Relations Center and the Language Institute. Hello, everyone. This is Ashley Sapmung, and welcome back to another episode of Sinu Podcast. And today, new is Sinu transforms its dorm into Chiang Mai Second Field Hospital, housing Sinu students and staff infected with COVID-19. Chiang Mai University has transformed Women's Dormitory Number no. Five into Second Chiang Mai Field Hospital with a capacity of 300 beds to provide 24 hours care for Sinu students and staff infected with COVID-19. Due to the rapid rise in cases in Chiang Mai, Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital was unable to accommodate the increasing number of patients. Therefore, CMU executives decide to transform Women's Dormitory Number no. Five, which has recently been renovated and had it been open for residents, into Chiang Mai Second Field Hospital and a cohort ward for Faculty of Medicine (CMU). The purpose is to house CMU students and staff at a premised meeting the Department of Disease Control Standards and reduce overcrowding at the main field hospital, thus delivering more efficient care for patients. Xing Mai Field Hospital 2, or Females Dormitory No. 5 CMU, has capacity of 300 beds and the care is administrated by the team of health care professionals from Maharatnakon Chiang Mai Hospital, Faculty of Medicine CMU. It is divided into different units for maximum efficiency. The examination and screening unit use a mobile health vehicle with the radiologic equipment for pulmonary examination. There are also object screening unit, a food preparation unit, a nursing administration unit, and a dispensary. Patients preparing for admission can contact healthcare professional via the line official account Q and A with Sun Doc doctor. Just as regular hospital, this field hospital strictly follows the protocols in PPE use, disinfectant use, and medical waste sorting. Having arrived at field hospital, patients must register themselves using QR code to access the telemedicine service. They will also undergo an orientation on self-conducting during treatment. Necessaries provided for the patients include blankets, pillows, pillowcases, shirts, trousers, body towels, facial towels, soap, toothpaste, food three meals a day, beverages, snacks, bags, and garbage bags. On each floor, there is a refrigerator and a pantry for sharing food. Used clothes are put in a special bag that dissolves when put into a heat watching machine to eliminate the need to manually open the garment bag which would pose the risk of infection. The team at hospital will keep a close observation via the telemedicine system and should the patients develop severe symptoms, they will be promptly transferred to Maharat Nakhon Chiang Mai Hospital. For CMU students and staff who test positive on COVID-19, please fill in the COVID-19 test report form at https colon slash slash cmu.to slash report cov19 pcr test and stay safe and self-quarantine at home and wait for the medical staff to contact you. If you experience shortness of breath, please call 6690-892-5623 or 6664-174-6183. Moreover, the university offer an information and support service at 6682-097-3998. O one three two six two four, or Facebook messaging and line, and answers frequently asked questions are provided on CMU's official website. CMU is prepared to provide quality care for its students and staff. It is hoped that everyone takes utmost precautions by wearing masks, 
maintaining social distancing, and watching hands regularly. Once the situation is resolved, rest assured that the dorm will be disinfected. Please stay safe and know that we shall overcome this together. Thank you very much, and that's it for today. Please stay tuned to the next episode of CMU Podcast on YouTube and Facebook, and follow our hashtag CMU Podcast. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.